project is A Day in the Life of a YouTuber, and it's a documentary film about a YouTuber who takes us through their day-to-day -day life of being a YouTuber, from the time they get up to the time they go to bed. Uh, this, this film explores the reality of what happens behind the scenes, and, and it just shows, like, is the YouTuber organised? Does the YouTuber ever get distracted? Why did they become a YouTuber? How does the YouTuber produce content? How did the YouTuber grow their audience? A day in the life of a YouTuber answers all of these questions that you are eager to know. My aim is to create a high quality and professional documentary film which explores the life of a YouTuber and concludes the film having the audience have their questions answered. This film will be delivered um, in three different ways. It will be uploaded to my YouTube channel for general viewing. It will also be distributed to different social media platforms like Twitter, Instagram, Discord and WhatsApp. And the film will be uploaded to my website under the FMP tab in the project's drop down menu. And it will be released on all of these platforms on Monday the 3rd of June at 5pm. So as you can see here, um, this is some of the things that inspire me. Um, so for example, I, I like the, um, the shadows on the left side, uh, created by soft lighting I think. Um, I also like um, like the montage of like gameplay, um, and also a sort of shot where you have them playing on their computers. The mode of documentary that that I'm going for is observational, as as I'm basically following their life uh, from the time they get up to the time they go to bed. And the conventions that I'm going to use in my documentary are interview, cutaways, tracking shots, close-ups, handheld camera, soft lighting, natural lighting, montage and music. The technology that I'm going to use to create the film is high spec camera lighting and sound equipment and uh, Premiere Pro. These, these are existing examples that inspire me. Um, I, I like this one because of the style, not, not because of... Um, the cats. Yeah. <laughs> and and this one inspires me because um, it's basically like the sort of topic I'm going for. Um, so your YouTuber that you're looking at is a gamer? Yeah. So he's, his, his channel is him playing games? Yeah, and I'm making videos um, about it. And, and it's basically them going through like the process of planning their videos recording their videos and editing their videos. So it's basically this sort of concept that you... Will we get any like inside secrets? Like so for example, yeah. they might like kind of how they cheat sometimes like to yeah. show their game, their gaming is better because they've edited a bit out or whatever. Yeah. Like edited a bit out when they die. Yeah? yeah? Um, the locations, um, I believe are easy to get to because because first I have a car to travel to the YouTuber's house and I can easily get hold of his sat nav. However, the the hard thing about this film is that it may be hard to find a YouTuber that is willing to participate in the film. And on top of that, it may be hard to get permission to go and film at the YouTuber's house because 
of the risk that their personal information may be leaked to the public. But there will be measures in place that their, that their personal information won't be leaked to the public. So as you can see here, these are my time scales. So this is so basically this week I'm planning to do all of my practical research and research reports for each one. Then throughout the Easter holidays I will be contacting YouTubers and trying to finish any uh, any type of research outstanding. Then the first two weeks uh, we come back I would be doing pre-production and and then the following week I would be following two weeks are, are filming, but it's just about contacting the YouTubers first so that I can then sort out a date um, for filming. And then after that I'll be in post-production process. And in the half term I'll be doing product testing, so, so for example doing surveys, and then the week back, um, I'll be writing my evaluation. The contributors, um, obviously um, the participant is the YouTuber, but it will be kept secret until the release of the film or product testing. Location is simple, YouTuber's house, and in terms of crew, um, most of it I will probably do myself, but but for the interview I would need one cap camera operator and one sound recordist. That's it. Um. So have you? You haven't got a YouTuber yet. Not yet. Uh, so you're going to find. So what happens if nobody says yes? I. I've got one person that has already said that they would, just in case others, other YouTubers wouldn't. So you have got a YouTuber, but you want to get a better one? Yeah. Okay. Guys, have you got any questions? You need to ask questions, please. I'll be following their lives um, to see um, what answers I get out of these questions that I've indicated right here. Surely, like it's going to be a bit boring, like in the, in regards to like the entire day or one day. They don't they don't necessarily do all of that on one day, I, isn't it? Not like the process of them making a video. Um, or are you going to get them eating their breakfast? The Filming within the day um, would probably be quite split up, um, so so I like get the best bits of what happens in the day, and not necessarily the dull bits in the day. It's quite reliant on the guy or the woman or the girl who's yeah. who's the YouTuber being quite entertaining. But I suppose like because they're on YouTube, they're probably quite loud and used to being in front of a camera, and therefore yeah. will be quite good at kind of getting across what you're trying to get across. So in regards to the audience, specifically you're talking about like A, YouTubers, but B, you're talking about gaming YouTubers. Is that quite a niche audience? Or is, does everybody like that? Um, I believe that in, in this modern day society, um, uh, lots of like, young people um, play video games and and there, there is a, a good majority of people that, that watch gaming videos um, because they're enjoyable. Is there any particular gaming thing that you're looking at? Is it like sports games or aliens or shooting? Or um, it's, it's more like games like um, things like Fortnite and um, like PvP games. Guys, you know more stuff about gaming than I do. Can you ask some questions, please? Um, 
The idea is it's got to be two ways. Otherwise, it's a presentation with me talk talking about feedback. Come on, Cam. Give me a question. What if they don't do anything except record videos? What if they do nothing for the whole day and then like have an hour slot where they record video? Well, that that's what I'm going to try and resolve. So basically, I will I'll contact the YouTubers uh, firstly to see if they would be willing to do it, and then we would organise a date where where I know that they have something planned. And and it is not just a day that's going to be quite dull. Yeah, I think that's kind of a, that's where I was getting at. I think like kind of a day in the life of YouTube it works, but I think it's got to be more specific about like it's got to be like so what? How does it like a making of, isn't it? It's like <coughs> behind the scenes, which is cool. I think it works. Yeah, but not like them eating their breakfast. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I don't care. So basically, it's going to be composed of like interview, like a formal sort of like interview. Um, Would you do that before they record? I I would probably designate one one day for for that. But isn't it a day that in the life of like for two days? No, because uh, because one day mm -hmm. I probably have for. Like recording their day in yeah. life, and then and then just designate another day for. I think you've got to think about it in regards to that because I like both ideas, but really think about how that works in regards to the idea of like, are they not going to be talking through the day of their? Mm -hmm. So almost like I feel like you should um, maybe like get them to narrate their own life or something. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. But there is also another example that's inspired me which is A Day in Life with David Cameron and, and basically he he goes through his day in life and and basically his interview is is basically when eating breakfast so so that that is one option which I could do but I want it's just a case I want to um, I want to uh, use the the skills um, of like of a formal interview and it's just Great. deciding which one to go for. Is that right? Is that cool? Didn't you see what I mean by